I'm Iggy Brigado, Senior Sales Engineer with JPS Interoperability Solutions. I'd like to introduce a new addition to the Z family of interoperability and distributed communication products, and that's the MCC4 Multi-Channel Desktop Console. The MCC4 integrates with all products in the Z family, such as the RSPZ2 Dual Channel Gateway and the ACU Z1 Modular Gateway. But when paired with a controller, such as the Z2 controller, or even the controller within the ACU Z1 gateway, the MCC4 multi-channel desktop console can even work with legacy gateways, such as the ACU2000, ACUT, ACUM, and Annex U2A. But to understand the full capabilities of the MCC4 console, let's first talk about some of the foundations of a Z ecosystem. And the RSP Z2 is a good example of one of these assets. The RSP Z2 dual channel gateway has two interfaces that will support LMR talk groups, JPS ROIP, and standards based protocols such as SIP and RTP. Even push to talk over cellular applications such as JPS VIA. Like all Z products, each has an integral web server that requires secure user login. With the RSP Z2, you can establish localized cross connections between two disparate LMR or telephony communication systems. And remember, these interfaces do not necessarily have to support radio talk groups, but can interface with SIP or RTP environments, and even other JPS products using JPS ROIP. Interoperable communications can even be backhauled over digital protocols, such as JPS ROIP, JPS bridging channels, standards-based protocols such as RTP and SIP, and push-to-talk over cellular systems. Another unique configuration of the RSP Z2 is its ability to separate its two channels and digitally backhaul separately over methods I described earlier. This is where JPS bridge channels in conjunction with the controller, such as the Z2 controller, can establish very flexible digital communication links between distributed gateways. And one of the advantages of a controller is its ability to manage 80 communication resources and control the bridge channels that allow the flowing of communications over networks between distributed assets. The left panel of the controller user interface displays free resources of associated RSP Z2 and ACU Z1 gateways. There's also resources from legacy gateways, such as ACU 2000s, NXUs, and even push to talk over cellular assets. Separate interoperability nets can be established to compartmentalize communications to help prevent the sharing of non-relevant information, as well as to reduce the loading of radio systems. For example, in the campus application, one net can contain public safety and campus security, while another net can include campus engineers and contractors, while a separate net can be reserved for faculty. The MCC4 multi-channel desktop console has four JPS bridge channels, PTT buttons, volume controls, and an LCD screen with channel identifiers, and the console is simply attached to the network using PoE. The MCC4 channels are represented in the free resource panel of the controller, and just like any other resource, channels can be placed directly into interoperability nets. Pressing the PTT button on the MCC4 will key all communications assets within the net. And because the communications is duplex, the operator of the MCC4 can have two-way communications with all parties within the net. A standard feature of the controller is the dispatch panel at the top of the user interface. One of the MCC4 console channels can be moved into the dispatch panel as a dispatch resource. Radio and telephony, even POC resources, can be dispatched simply by dragging the resources into the dispatch panel. This means free resources at the left and resources that are contained within interoperability nets can be dispatched. You'll also notice that resources remain in their concurrent nets. Once initially added to the dispatch panel, resources will have a yellow border signifying that that resource is in an unselect or monitored state also noted by the single-ended arrow. When any of the resources are in a receive state, audio is directed to the MCC dispatcher only and will not be sent to other resources within the dispatch panel. Conversely, a dispatch resource can be placed in a select state where two-way communications can take place with the dispatch operator. The border around the resource will turn red and the double-ended arrow will signify duplex communications is enabled. We offer a single channel console, the MCC1, 
the MCC1 is a great alternative to issuing subscriber units to administrative users that primarily work from their desk and can provide cost effective as radios can instead be prioritized for users in the field. And lastly, the single Z communication ecosystem can contain multiple MCC4 and MCC1 desktop consoles. By employing controllers and JPS bridging channels, complex communication issues can be solved. If you'd like to learn more about the MCC4 and MCC1 multi-channel desktop console, please give us a call or check the products link in our website at jpsinterop.com.